Hey guys, this is my first ever all day clean with me. So this was a Thursday. I caught up with a friend in the morning and then we had our regular play date in the afternoon. So I didn't do a heap of cleaning, but I hope this gives you some motivation. If you're new, hi, I'm Ali. I'm a mum of two. I've got a daughter who's just turned three and a 10 month old. So today it's actually quite gloomy and we have solar panels and I normally like to run the washing machine when the sun's out so then we don't have to pay for electricity but today the sun is not going to come out so it's 8 30 in the morning and I've already finished a load. I'm just going to stack it here. I really like this rocket clothes hanger. Um, that's what we call it. We call it the rocket. <laughs> It's got the three tiers. I got it a couple of years ago from Kmart and I just find, especially for, you know, baby and kid clothes, it's just perfect size wise. We did have a clothes hanger that kind of folded out on each side, but it really didn't take that much stuff. Whereas it's amazing how much stuff I can fit on this. So I really love it, especially for, like I said, for baby and toddler clothes. It's just like a must. I organized the laundry at the start of the year and it's still working so well. I'm really happy with it. So now I've done that, I kind of after breakfast just did what I could. So while my son's still having his first nap, I'm gonna go upstairs and finish off the kitchen. I didn't get it all done this morning before we went downstairs. So we had bacon and eggs for breakfast in the pie maker, which is the main thing I use the pie maker for. Um, so I'm just putting away that. The pie maker is cold, but what I find in to get off this fat is just to reheat it. So I'll just turn it on again and then use a paper towel to clean it. As you can see there, there's all the food and stuff that's kind of stuck on there. And I find by just heating up the pie maker again, it wipes off really easy. So just using paper towel, just having them damp, not soaking wet, and then just wiping it over. Um, and I'll do that a couple of times until it's all done. And then I tend to finish with just one paper towel just to dry it all. And then I'll sit it to the side um, because I don't like to put it in the cupboard until it's completely cool. Then I'm just going to use this method granite cleaner to clean the bench top because I didn't wipe it down straight away there's some egg and stuff on the bench so it's going to take a bit of work to get it off so I really do like this granite method cleaner so I'm just going to spray that on and then wipe that off. Then next I'm going to fill up the dishwasher and put that on. Like I said, it's a cloudy day today, so I'm going to put it on right away. That's one thing I must admit I miss about having solar panels. We're into a really good routine where at the end of the day we put the dishwasher on and then empty it in the morning, you know, when you've got the kettle boiling for brekkie. Um, I find because I don't do that now, it just drags throughout the day. Do you have a set time that you do the dishwasher? Like, do you do it first thing in the morning or do you tend to do it throughout the day? So this morning, my son had pumpkin, a little bit of egg, and it's one of those things that I wish I'd just cleaned it at the time because it's gonna take me a lot longer now to clean it off. So first off, I'm just gonna use the cloth that I use to wipe his face and just get all the big pieces off. And then I had to get a baby wipe to just get a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna spray and wipe it down like I said, it took me a lot longer because I didn't do it at the time. And sometimes this is what I feel like I do with my days. I clean up the high chair and the floor underneath and I do that three or four or five times, depending if we have snacks in that chair and depending what they are. I wish I'd cleaned it at the time. I do tend to, I just didn't today. 
We've been without an oven probably for three or four weeks now. Um, they took the old one and when they tried to replace it, it was the wrong size. So we've just had an empty hole there for probably two weeks, which has been so annoying because I really wanted to do a train cake for my daughter's third birthday, which I couldn't do. So in the end, we had an ice cream cake, which she absolutely loved. But I was really disappointed because I really wanted to do a train cake for her and decorate it like Thomas the Tank Engine. But anyway, we've got the oven in now, which is just amazing. And then I'm gonna empty the dishwasher. My son is having his second nap for the day. Um, it got a bit delayed because the Sparky was making so much noise with the, trying to put the oven in and stamping around. So he kind of got woken up after being asleep for 15 minutes. So I managed to just kind of cuddle him for a bit until the Sparky went and then we tried again. So he's having a lovely long nap while I'm emptying the dishwasher. And my daughter is actually in the garage and she's doing some water painting. It is like her favorite thing at the moment and probably has been for like over a month. So we've had it set up downstairs in the bathroom and she does water painting down there. And then at the moment I've got it set up in the garage as well. So if we're upstairs, she can be in there painting. And the idea is it'll just keep a bit of the paint in the garage rather than all around the house. Cause as you can see, I've got enough food clean up <laughs> without cleaning up paint as well. can't believe we've hit 20,000 subscribers. That's 20,000 in our community. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so like I said, I thought I'm not gonna show you how I clean the high chair three times. I did it today. Um, so I just cleaned up after dinner. I try and clean everything up before we go downstairs for the bath and then books and bed. Tonight though, I'm gonna give our powder room a bit of a clean. So I'm gonna first clean the mirror um, with just some Windex spraying at the top and this is the stool we keep in here so that my daughter can wash her hands no worries um, doesn't look awesome but I don't really care it works really well she climbs up there and washes her hands so there's been a lot of water spray on the mirror so I'm just gonna clean the mirror um, what I like to do first is just spray with the Windex then use a cloth and then use another completely clean cloth just to rub so that there's no streaks or dust or dirt left behind and then the basin's getting a bit gross, so I'm using these disinfectant wipes. It's got that orange tinge, you know, when you get that around the um, plug hole. Yeah, gross. So I'm just going to start off by wiping it all out before using this um, method bathroom spray and just cleaning the bowl completely. I actually don't mind the smell of this bathroom cleaner. It's not a real kind of bleachy smell. It's quite nice. Just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? And then I'm going to go onto the toilet. So just using toilet paper first to get all the dust off so that I'm not smearing it around everywhere. Um, and then chucking that into the toilet bowl. And then I'm going to use one of those cloths just to wipe over everything to get all the dust off. And I'm going to go chuck that in the bin. Um, and then I didn't actually have any toilet cleaner here. So it is up in one of the other bathrooms it's gone to. So I'm actually just gonna try this morning fresh dish soap. Um, I figure it should work because it's just digested food down there. So anyway, I'm gonna squirt that around. I have actually seen someone on Facebook um, use the Aldi dishwashing liquid. So that worked for them, but I'm going to try morning fresh. That's what we've got. And then I'm going to give it a really good clean. So I'm not actually touching the toilet. So that's why I don't actually wear gloves because I'm always touching the wipes or the paper. And then I just wash my hands anyway. So once that's done, I've washed my hands, come back into the kitchen and I'm just going to clean this bench completely. Just using the granite spray, remove everything off it and then give it a really good clean. Then the last thing I'm going to do is give these sinks some loving. So just using the dishwashing soap from Morning Fresh. It's got a lemon scent, which is really nice and fresh. I'm going to squirt that around and then give it a really good clean. Give it a really good clean with this just cloth that I've got. And then it's going to go into the wash. 
and I'm just going to use one of our tea towels just to wipe it down at the end. I find if I don't wipe it down, it's kind of like it hasn't been done, if that makes sense, like the watermarks are still there. So I really like to completely dry it and I'm just going to use a tea towel and then we're going to wash that. I just wonder. Okay guys, I hope this 10 minute-ish video gave you some cleaning motivation. Thanks heaps for watching. Take care. Bye.